guys and today we will be creating a recycler view but not vertical it will be horizontal so let's get started now uh, okay this is uh, active an empty activity as you can see I have nothing here just an on create method and this is an empty layout file all right so we'll be using these two to create our activity with the horizontal layout sorry uh, with the horizontal recycler view so first of all let's just create a recycler view all right let's say it's uh, wrap content and height is also wrap content for the recycler view we'll call it horizontal what do, horizontal are we all right no worries and uh, we'll add scroll bars and the scroll bars will be horizontal what do we need i think this is it uh, for now we can add more things as required when we can test this all right, so now we have our recycler view ready. Now we want layout for individual item in a recycler view. In the recycler view, as you can see, it says item zero, item one. It is showing vertical here, but it will be laid out horizontally. I'm gonna build this. So, what do we want each each item to look like? So that's what we create. Now let's create a new layout resource file and let's call it RV item. All right. And now as it's the trend these days, we will use a card view. All right, card view. And let's say we want the width to be 100. Or I say, let's say 100 DP and height to be wrap content. Why am I getting an error here? Okay, because we are starting with card view, but we are closing with constraint layout, right? So you can just remove all this thing. Just do this and it will be automatically added. All right, now let's create an image view here. Or let's say a relative layout. It's match parent, its height is also match parent, let's say. And in the relative layout, first we'll have an image view. Uh, we can set this to match parent also because uh, our parent's width is fixed and we want it to be take the full width of our parent. All right, and let's say I have an image here. This is something called Camino. I'll just use that. And now we don't want this as an item, right? We want it to be small like a square or whatever uh, but not this whole thing that is being taken by match parents so what we do is an image view we just set the scale type to center crop okay not center crop what do we do center inside or something okay so let's set this to wrap content too this also to wrap content okay now we have something that we want and now let's do it center crop center inside uh, by the way fits the whole image inside as you can see there's whites left here and there but it is fitting everything but what center crop does is it takes the whole space as you can see here all right so let's say we want yeah Let's just say we want center crop. We don't want it to occupy the whole space. All right. Or you can just give this a 150 DP size also and it will become a perfect square. So it's up to you what you want to do. And anyhow, let's add a text view now. This text view, let's say it's this wrap content. And since it is a relative layout, we will <coughs> give this an ID because this is what we'll be dynamically populating. And on the image, we'll just use this image. Uh, one image for all our items let's say tv title <coughs> and we want this this is a sample text which will be dynamically dynamically changed and we'll say text is this <laughs> all right now align bottom oh it's been a lot lot since i've used <laughs> relative layout as you can see here this is here and we want this to be centered also right so Okay, I think align parent start true. 
okay no not this two yeah maybe let's try this i'm doing this because we want this to be in center horizontally also all right and align parent and also true okay and now see this has taken full width and we'll just set the gravity of the text to center now this text is in the center it's not clearly visible so i'll just change the color to something like white and now text size also let's increase it to 16 sp and let's make it bold that would be nice all right and let's give it a background color of black or gray let's give it gray okay gray is not already here so let's just type anything here and let's make it this color gray all right now we have a background we can clearly see this is text and we have our item ready all right guys let's move on to our java file okay, first of all i'll just create uh what will i create i'll just create some methods that will be method definitions so that you can understand and then we will fill the method with code all right so first of all recycler view and let's just get this over with first set content view to our activity horizontal layout activity horizontal recycle view and then our way is find view for id what was our id name it was something rv but not tv rv horizontal rv this is it all right so what first we need let's say we have an array list data right and this will contain data source let's say this we need data that will be used to populate our recycler view our items in the recycler view so we can have first item say title one title two all those things will be stored in this thing all right and then and then we'll, we need a layout manager all right so let's say you know, layout manager the, every recycler view needs this layout manager and this is what will define our recycler view as horizontal all right and what else do we need we need an adapter right so we need adapter let's say my rv adapter okay now we don't have this so we'll get an error all right yeah what else do we need we we have an adapter we have layer and layout manager we have data sources all right this is all we need okay so let's create this recycle view adapter i right, create class recycle view adapter okay so let's just create it in here on itself so we'll create class my rv adapter and it will extend it should extend recycler views adapter class guys and this adapter class takes a view holder inside now keep in mind we need to pass a view holder inside this view holder will hold our rv item view and we can do things with this view in our view holder so this is also something that we need to create so let's say let's just call it my holder now as you can see here we don't have my holder also so we'll create my holder all right uh i just if you have an error you can press alt enter so it will create give you suggestions all right so first of all i'll create a class my holder so that this goes away and it needs to extend it needs to extend the view holder of recycle view class all right now and here we have an error again the hint i gave you press alt enter and we'll have solutions create constructor matching super so we are extending this class that's why we need to create this constructor that matches this class's constructor all right now we have an error here now we press control and alt enter again and as you can see this is now our array adapters my holder this class and again we still have error here again press alt enter that's because we don't have implemented methods and we click here and we implement all these three methods all right so now we have our basic uh, adapter ready now what we need to do is we just need to pass it a data source all right so let's say uh let's create an a construct, let's create a constructor press ctrl o and as you can see we get a solutions of all the things that we can 
override so let's just say my rv adapter but in here it is empty what we'll do is first let's create an error list here also right let's call this data and what will take this will take is this will take an error list data all right and here what we can do is this dot data equals to data all right so when we initialize our adapter we'll need to pass the data to this adapter and this data will be saved in our variable inside this rv adapter and we can use this data wherever we want all right so what we'll do is get item count is what we do data dot size now this is the number of items that we'll have in our recycler view okay and what do we want to do first let's create okay i think everything is here now what we need to do is create a text view here as you can see we in our item we have image view and text view right so since our image view is static we will not use this we'll just reference this text view in our holder so we have text view text view tv title all right and what we can do is tv title is we need super as the first line so we move down here and we say item view dot find view by id r dot id dot tv title so this is the text view here just making sure yes this is tv title and we have referenced our TV title now we can set text on this set color set background whatever we want all right now on bind view holder what we do is <coughs> first we create a view right layout inflator dot from what we do is activity and like this and then okay we need to pass something else also Okay, this is not the view. We have this inflator and then from here into inflate. Because our variable is view, but this was just linear layout inflator. That's why we were getting this error. So if using this, we need to inflate our dot layout dot our RV item. And we don't the okay. What is our root? nothing so let's just call it none and let's just pass false so our parent or root is none we, we are just inflating it and now we need to return new new my view holder with our text our title uh, sorry our item view this is the view do it cannot return a value from method okay we don't return anything this is my bad guy this is what, <laughs> something that should be done in on create view holder not on bind view holder the difference is on create view holder it you create a view or you create uh, inflate a layout and pass that layout and in on bind view holder you use that view and you manipulate that view to set text or set image all that good stuff so this is not here. my bad this is here all right and in that's why i was confused here it should have a root and this is our parent this parent is the root all right okay so now what we do is we just and in our bind view holder what we do is we are past the holder right so what we do is we take that holder we take the TV title and then we set text to from our data source, right? This one. So what we do is data dot get and this is the position. So if our item is the first item, we will get the first data from here, first string from here, and set this as title. If our item view is this is in the second position, we will get the second data source second title or second string and then we will set the title as the second item in our data source all right 
So now what we need to do is we have our adapter ready. We just need to set this adapter to our recycler view and set the data source. First, let me just set the data source. So let's say data source equals to new error list and and let's just add some data one by one. Hello. And again, a very, very handy shortcut for you is control D. It just duplicates the current line. Control D, 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 D. And now you can just change this. Hello world. To the good city. Okay. I need one more. Let's just say what do we want here. Uh, just add some stars <laughs> i can think of something creative so yeah now we have our data source ready now this is very rudimentary just for example you might have your data from databases from apis from wherever you want but for this tutorial i think this will work fine if not let me know in the comment section below all right now what do we need to do is okay let me check if i'm recording or not i'm just confused all right i am good good okay now now let's initialize our linear layout manager new linear layout manager now this is the part that makes this horizontal guys so don't don't skip this don't skip this dot this this is the context and our linear layout dot horizontal linear layout manager dot horizontal now this is our uh layout and do we want to reverse the layout no so let's set it to false all right now we initialize the linear layout manager with a context and we want this layout to be horizontal and we want to reverse it no hence it's false now we just initialize our adapter let's say my rv adapter or we have that already we just use that my rv adapter equals to new my rv adapter and we need to pass a data source that is our data source that we just initialized and finally to our rv what do we need to do? Set layout manager and we just initialize this layout manager. This is what we'll set it as. And RV dot set adapter. My RV adapter. Now we are good to go. We have set our layout manager, we have set our adapter, and we have passed data to our adapter. Everything looks pretty well for now. And all right, all right yeah. Let's check if I have this in manifest. Yeah. I have this in manifest and it is already the launcher so let's just try it and hit this button okay guys so our app is built and as you can see we can see hello world to the code city and that's just asterisk asterisk all right guys congratulations we are done now if you want to see me improve the UI you can just stay here for one minute it'll take just a short amount of time this let's add some border or margin or radius to our let's make it 12 dp and compare padding to true and let's add some margin of small 2 dp and this itself is very good all right now let's run this again it will take a short amount of time this time because our Emulator is already running and and just terminate this. Let's see this and our what is this? Okay, this is another app. What happened? Yeah. Very good, very beautiful. And there you go. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. I'll help you out to the max of my capabilities. See you next time. Peace out.